We're going to solve this system of equation by the elimination, also known as the addition method. Uh, we can clearly see here that it doesn't matter whether we choose to eliminate our x or y, um, that we're going to manipulate the second equation. So all we have to do with that second equation is to multiply it by negative 5. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're not going to do anything to equation number 1. We're going to do the distributive property with equation 2, negative 5 times x, negative 5 times negative y, and negative 5 times positive 12. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and add the two equations together. And now we're going to add. So in adding our x's, our x's cancel. So did our y's. How about the right side? Did that cancel as well? No, it did not. We need to combine those numbers. So combining a positive 3 and a negative 60 is going to give us a negative 57 on that side. So we'll have a 0 on the left side because everything canceled there, a negative 57 on the right side, and those two numbers are not the same. So whenever the variables cancel out, and leave you with a false statement because this is a false statement. Zero is not the same as negative 57. When it leaves you with a false statement, then that means there's no solution. Again, after simplifying, if the variables cancel out and leave you with a false statement, then there is no solution to the equations. Just a recap of those special cases when both variables cancel out. So if both variables are eliminated in the solving process, then the solution sets are determined as follows. Case number one, if the variables cancel out and leave you with a true statement, then that means that there are infinite many solutions. And if the variables cancel out and leave you with a false statement, then that means there's no solution. 